Okay, so welcome to episode 125 of The Daily Shed. Today I want to talk just a little bit about thirds and show you uh, how to play through a major scale completely in thirds. So a third is just a very simple uh, harmonization. A uh, very simple, basically the most simple chord that you can have, just the root and a third. And it's a very familiar sound. That's just the first three notes in the major scale, but harmonized with a third above. So one, two, three, that's the note. And the second, second note, one, two, three, counts up one, two, three. Third note, one, two, three. So it's one and three, two and four, three and five, and so on. But it's a really great uh, sound and a great thing to, uh, to beef up a melody. And you often hear this in, in vocals when people are harmonizing. Uh, most often, I think I can probably say that it's a third. So I wanted to show you how to play through a whole major scale in thirds, both going up the neck and across the neck uh, in one octave. So I'll do it in G, so starting on G, uh, using your low E string. So playing the third fret of the low E string and the second fret of the A, and then fifth fret on the E, third fret on the A, seventh fret on the E, fifth fret on the A, 8th fret on the E, 7th fret on the A, 10th fret on the uh, E string, 9th fret on the A, 12th fret on the E, 10th fret on the A, 14th fret on the E, 12th fret on the A, and 13th fret on the G, on the E, 12th fret, or 14th, uh, sorry, um, 15th fret, sorry. This is 15th fret on the G, on the E string, 14th on the A. Let's make sure I've got that right. Going back down again, the 15th on the E string, 15th and 14th, 14th and 12th, 12th and 10th, 10th and 9th, 8th and 7th, 7th and 5th, 5th, that's on the E string, 3rd on the A string, 3rd on the E string, 2nd on the A string, so like this. It goes all the way up the scale, but just harmonized. And going back down again. Be a pretty familiar sound to you. Now I'll show you going uh, on the scale across the neck. Just the first octave, so G major scale. Okay. Now in the thirds, the first three notes on your first two strings, then on the second and third strings, the A D strings. So the whole thing. Explain through uh, through the frets just if you're following along. Third fret on the E string, second on the A, then fifth on the E, third on the A, seventh on the E, fifth on the A string. Okay. And the second string, or second and third strings, the A and D strings. Third fret on the A, second fret on the D, fifth fret on the A, fourth fret on the D, seventh fret on the A, fifth. On the D, so okay. Then on the D and G strings, fourth fret on the D, second fret on the G, and fifth fret on the D, fourth fret on the G. So and back down. Mm -hmm. yeah, if you get these under your fingers, it'll really help a lot. You'll start to f you start to notice everywhere, and uh, guitar riffs you'll start to hear it and uh, you'll be able to add it into your own playing. I'll talk a lot more about thirds uh, in the future, but um, if you get these under your fingers, you'll find that it's pretty fun to play, actually. I like just getting your fingers used to switching around and try to make it legato also. So I hope it's useful to you. Uh, please let me know any questions, as always, and thanks for watching.